Hey there, welcome to my studio here in New York City. I'm Daniel Norton with Cadence. And today I'm gonna to make a short video just talking about beauty dishes and kind of how to use them. You know, obviously you can use any lighting tool any way you want. Although I see you already started typing in the comments, so go ahead and tell me I'm wrong. But you know, about how I'm gonna say there. But beauty dishes have a very specific point. And if you uh, saw my other video where I talk about where you distance the subject, if you look at a beauty dish, it's 22 inches. So you want to put a beauty dish pretty close. I see a lot of times people put them really far away, which is fine, and it's a hard light source. But to me, there's better hard light sources than that. So if you're going to use the beauty dish the right way, you want to keep it close, which is kind of what we have here. Now, a lot of people like to use a grid on a beauty dish, which really gives it a lot of tight control. You see it a lot for beauty. So we're going to talk about that a little bit today. What a grid does is a grid is going to uh, limit the spread of your light. It doesn't focus the light. It limits the spread. It does it in a way that kind of feathers it off. So what we want to do when we're using a gridded beauty dish for a portrait or a beauty shot, we want to make sure the center of the dish is right on the center of their face. Or Usually I do it on their eyes, not on, the, on their nose, but a little higher. This will give a bright spot effectively, and then it'll feather off the darkness, and then you'll have nice tight shadows around the cheekbones and stuff. So it's very kind of uh, precise in a way. And again, it's for a beauty shot. This is why we're doing it. If we use the beauty dish without the grid, we have a lot more freedom. We can use reflectors just like a soft box. But let me just look at the grid and we'll see how it goes. So I have, I have a light on the background too that I might use, but for now, let's focus on what we have here. This light here is in my A group. I'm gonna put it in TTL. I have the, the modeling light on. Actually, I'll kill the overhead so you guys can see better like I did this before. So we can see that when we're looking at this, we can see exactly where the light is. And if, and if she moves her face, like move, like go back and forward, Right? We can see that she's coming in and out of the light. What we want to do is see there it's on her forehead, there it's on the bottom of her face. So we really want to figure out where she's going to sit and to figure out her posture. And then we're going to do two things. We're going to adjust the height of our light and also the tilt of it so that the center of it is, is on her. And we can actually even have her look at it and, and see if she's in the center of the light. You know, it, it's, it, so A lot of times I see people that don't communicate with the subject. I mean, just is the light on you? It's actually a little high. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So if she's going to be there and the light's on her, we're in TTL. I've got an 85 millimeter lens on here, nice and simple. We can see we have a nice clean shot. But let's let's just show you, for example, if I were to just kind of lean back a bit. Again, I'm in TTL, it will adjust the proper exposure. What's gonna happen is we're gonna get a shot that is you know kind of uneven. We can see that it's actually brighter down here on her neck and her face, which is the main part of our subject, is not as bright. Here we have focus on the cheekbones, it's giving us that shape, it's giving us that that focus essentially. So if you're straight on, you maybe bring your chin up a little bit even, then you'll get nice reflection from the, from the beauty dish right on the face. We want to keep it centered on the face. Really, really nice, really simple. And that's pretty much it. I mean, <laughs> I made a whole video for this, but that's basically it, right? We want to use the beauty dish as kind of it's designed. Now, that doesn't mean you can't use it other ways, right? If we want to use it more like a portrait light, um, let me just turn the lights on. What I would do in that case is I would remove the grid. I mean, this, of course, is, is figuring a single light shot. Of course, you could also use a fill light. Um, but if we re remove the grid, now what we've got is a lot more spread. It's still a relatively small-ish source, so we want to keep it kind of close. But now, like the softbox, because we want to use a reflector, now mm -hmm. we're going to do kind of the opposite. Right? We're going to kind of tilt it more forward. That way we have more light to reflect. So now in this scenario, we're tilting it more forward. And again, I'm in TTO. No reflector yet. We can see that... You know, the light is evenish on her face, right? We got now light in the background. And then if we bring our reflector in, we have plenty of light to scoop up and reflect. Just like that, right? Nice and simple. The TTL gives us a little bit of a dark exposure there. So if I was shooting this, which I will, I'd switch to manual at this point, give myself maybe like three tenths of a stop. We'll come back in. And now we've got more, again, more like a classic portrait shot. So you can definitely use it like a softbox if you just want to punch your light. But you won't get that kind of crispy beauty dish shot. Like, you know, without studying this, you might not even realize it's a beauty dish. It could be almost anything. But when you look at the, the gridded beauty dish shots, you know, they're very, they have a very specific feel to them, the way the light falls on the face. And that's because we're focusing our light, not focusing our light, but focusing the center of the light on her face. So that's the that's the trick, if you will, with the, any kind of graded light, but definitely with the beauty dish. Get it centered on your subject's face, get your exposure, and rock and roll, right? <laughs> go ahead and, I, oh, no, don't go ahead yet. 
I'm going to put Cadence's information in the description so you guys can follow her. Go ahead and subscribe, ring the bell, do all that goodness, and I'll see you next time.